contrarian showing. Hey, give me one second. You're just going to have to vamp because I don't know if my dog's going to shit herself, but she's right there at the door and she's been screaming at me. Well, this is what I'm going to so. do. Hello and welcome. My name is Jay Yee, and with me today is my good old friend, Alexander Gonzalez. Sort of. He is... Hi. He he's uh he's helping his dog out there. Uh but please remember that we are not game devs. Um I guess we'll just okay. Yeah, he's doing okay. Uh but those are not the things we are talking about today. Today we are creating something new. Every week we are not game devs who we'll create a new exciting video game idea that we have always wanted to play, but do not have any knowledge or know how to create the wonderful experience that are video games. Today is my turn to present. We are not game devs. Hundred and thirty third, hundred and thirty third IP. Let's begin with a basic concept. I'm talking very slowly because Alex is still AFK at the moment. Um, but I will be uh, just, I guess, talking until he gets back. Uh, actually, what's up? Gotcha. Uh, while while Cora is peeing, uh, let's talk. I mean, if Alex would hear me. All right, cool. Alex would hear me. I don't know if you guys could hear him. I'm sure you could. Uh, let me start off with the basic idea of the game. I I, I didn't actually know what I was going to do, but you you influenced me with last week's idea and i'm gonna go with the tycoon game i also have in my bank uh this is gonna be a game akin to zoo tycoon um which i really liked as a kid but it's gonna be zoo tycoon but for like prehistoric meets fantastical creatures um and when i say fantastical i'm thinking like dragons i'm thinking like uh like more medieval creatures uh like um i don't know a, a griffin a wyvern uh trolls stuff like stuff of that nature Right, maybe not a troll because that would be kind of weird to have a troll inside your zoo. Uh, you have like a humanoid. Yeah, like that'd be kind of weird. <clears throat> but that's that's the first half of the game is this tycoon zoo management part of the game. Uh, the second half is kind of like a Stardew Valley or Rune Factory esque side of it, where you go out into the wilds and you hunt the eggs that will populate your zoo. Um, and so... Oh, what if we... You have to track down dens to find the eggs of mythical beasts, and you have to solve, like, riddles and legends to find new ones. Sure. Um, and I guess the idea would be you'd go out, kind of track where the beast is or lives or nests, and maybe maybe there is a calendar and only certain beasts nest at certain times of the year. Uh, or maybe it's just random. Weather dependent. Yeah. Um, but you'd go out and, yeah, you'd hunt eggs and then bring them back to your zoo. And, um, yeah, I guess that's as far as I got. What, what, what do you have for me? <laughs> All right, so when you go out, you're going to have to have some gameplay where you're going to have to avoid dangers and enemies and everything else. Right, so do you so, see this as a stealth game as I do? Did you want to do stealth? I was thinking you can do stealth, you can do traps. Maybe you yourself can wield magic of some sort. Um... What, what do you want to do to traverse through this world to get to the dens? Or do you want it just to be where you track down dens 
and you just work from the den. So maybe it's like a dungeon crawler from that point, you know, mm. until you get to the egg that's at the end of the dungeon. No, I think it's going to be maybe a better idea. I feel like it's actually just a fully realized kind of world where you start in one central area, which is where your zoo is located. And we allot a plenty of land for you to upgrade and expand and stuff and get more exhibits maybe behind you as well. And so, and then you go out and it's just a giant map. That's always the same. And like different monsters will always be in certain sections. And then you're going to breath of the wild, this game up, I guess. Yeah. Just Um, have a huge open world like that with different dens and maybe depending on environment changes and, Stuff like that. Yeah, different have different monsters will nest. Biomes almost. Right. Yeah. And then you'd go out and I imagine you'll have like in terms of traversal stuff, you would have like a grappling hook, maybe like an axe or like a, a saw or something to like cut mm-hmm. down trees to make bridges or get rid of like specific obstacles in your way. Um Maybe kind of more like survival game esque slash Metroidvania, where as you get more animals, maybe from the animals that you farm, they can produce a product that you could get from them to upgrade like equipment. So you could get like a better axe. So you could go cut spe- a specific thing and then you could open up a new part of the map. Uh, and then when you open a new part of the map, you could farm or uh, gather new monsters to bring back and i guess for how the egg stuff would work the small eggs you could keep in a pouch and then depending on the size of it uh you could only keep so many in your pouch whereas the big eggs you actually have to carry it and then set down if you have to like hide or like do stuff like that but i don't think you're fighting any animals in this you're just there'd be like distractions and uh like you said traps and stuff like that so yeah some um monsters and creatures that you bring back would have bonuses or have materials that can be made from what they shed or their scales to advance in the game exactly and also i mean some could just be really good park attractions that people would really want to see yeah and i think for that it just bring in currency um Mm -hmm. whatever the currency in this game would be more money to fund supplies to yeah. go out and get more monsters. And, like, upgrade your zoo as well with amenities and interme- – and I don't want this to be, like, super hyper-realistic in terms of why would this guy have a random zoo in the middle of the wilderness type of thing. I want it to be mm-hmm. more like – the zoo part is, for some reason, it makes sense, and people will come to the zoo and pay – like, think, like, Dragon Ball Z – logic where there's like huge towns right next to where well yeah you just dinosaurs this, this roam. Is just a thing yeah, yeah. it's just a thing that happens these are mythical creatures anyway right so i if, if people are asking why the zoo's there why is there a dragon exactly and then maybe we could get like fantastical with it where or not fantastical in terms of fantasy uh just imaginative where like maybe you'll have to spend some money and some time you could train your the pterodactyls to do like a routine so people could ride on them and then like you'll have you'll upgrade your pterodactyl exhibit to be a ride pterodactyl exhibit you know what i mean um oh, and so then it'll be audience participation yeah and just upgrades to your park like maybe there'd be a trained animal show and then you open up a theater and it's like those sea world shows that they do on like an hourly basis or whatever you know what i mean or like a disney play or whatever Um, there could even be maybe major unlocks that can happen once you hit a certain threshold in terms of park visitors money accruing and monsters where maybe you could open up an aquarium side too so then you can do underwater creatures so you're already getting to my next idea where uh once you make a certain amount of money um, and how tycoon games normally work is once your park a- accumulates a certain amount of money, they bring you to a different map. And so, and then you have to hit another goal. And sometimes it's not just money. It's like hit this many visitors or do this many things. Um, so in this game, maybe at first it starts you off in a pretty small area where you're like 
the open world, like the the Pokemon Wild area, so to speak, is a little bit smaller. Um, and then once you, that's like the tutorial level. Once you beat the tutorial level, it gives you a pretty sizable park with flying and land creatures, and you could do that. And then once you beat that, you move to an even bigger area, and then that's when you start getting into the underwater stuff, and then like trying to catch fish and to build up your fish side. And then maybe in like that'll be the full game is once you open that, that's where you like really just go all out and we give you unlimited expansion abilities. And it's just like what I imagine just an expansion to the map, but we change it a little bit. We've moved stuff around new traversal puzzles to solve and stuff because it does have that, I guess, more survival aspect or Metrovania aspect to the opening of the map. Or should we just give you the aquarium maybe it just gives you a small part of the map and then you just unlock more and more and the aquarium comes last and it's like a whole new thing where you have to invest in like boats and submarines and stuff like that either way it works i i think it should just be an expansion that you can do and earn and go from there gotcha we can even have other stuff that that you unlock for instance like to get the to get like a dragon or something like that, like a full flown dragon. I think that has to be like a boss mission in itself, or maybe you have to lure it by using other, other monsters or creatures and then have to use, like you have to have multiple staff yeah, like, on your payroll to then be able to qualify to even attract this. And you have to have a certain amount of space because it needs so much space in order for it to roam. Right. Most definitely. I think, I think maybe we can have like, Maybe for like major big creatures, it'd be like a, a mission in itself, like a story mission that you have to complete. Um, mm -hmm. And it's more guided, linear, and it also has like maybe a couple of cutscenes or like a couple of more epic um, set piece scenes, you know, where we kind of staged certain things to happen. Okay, cool. As for the park visitors, we're going to have them interacting. We're going to have them walking around. You're going to have to do like food and stuff like that as exactly. well in gift shops. Yeah. And I think we could have it so the gift shop, as you bring in more creatures, you could upgrade your gift shop to stock new plushies or whatever of the new animal that you just caught and stuff like that and it'll like it'll cost money at first but of course over time it'll get you more and more money and then yeah food yeah. and as you like level up and catch more animals new types of food <laughs> oh, oh my god that's so brutal a uh, new kind of food is opened up to your park to start well, selling it's not like you're gonna be sitting there like giving them brontosaurus burgers or anything like that yeah, you'd never know <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden there's no like ribs but laugh. all of a sudden there's ribs on the menu you know what i'm saying really big ribs um yeah we can have fun with it with the food with the gift stuff do you want this to be like a weird like maybe all the the guests of this park come in like flintstone cars Flintstone cars? Why Flintstone cars? I don't know. Maybe this is more like... Because like, I'm trying to think of this in an era where I feel like there are dinosaurs, but then there's also like dragons as well. Is it just a high fantasy, like more of a Final Fantasy type of deal where it's like dudes in like really fancy clothes? But for some reason... Okay, Alex's mic got disconnected. Give me a second. He probably has to adjust some audacity settings. Cool. Where do we leave off? You left off on, we already talked about restaurants. You did all that. And then you were, what were we getting into after that? Fred Flintstone cars for the tourists to arrive in. And you had no idea why you suggested this. Because there's a lot of dinosaurs going on. I don't know. I, I thought. Is it dinosaurs? Story. I thought we were doing mythical. We could How do is whatever. The dinosaurs now. All right. Now Pe we can do People come in <laughs> we on. do different on, themes? They'll come in on horses 
and <laughs> what are you, what's going on is this what, why horses now i don't know okay. how are they how are these guests coming to our park how are they arriving is there a parking lot what's going on do they just okay. appear is there a magical teleportation portal there's a, there's and they an have to go through gate. it i've never seen a tycoon that worries about its parking lot what um, no roller coaster tycoon you have to upgrade your parking lot Really, in Zoo At Tycoon, least two. you do no such thing. I don't think you do in Zoo Tycoon. Um, we can have them arrive to the island by pterodactyl. That's oh, carrying, it's like a shuttle. Yeah, that's carrying uh, like a cage that they're in, and it's holding it by its feet. Maybe that's uh, one of the upgrades. Like at first, they have to come by ferry, and then as you upgrade more things, they could come by like pterodactyl, or they have to come. They yeah. can come by dragon. And shit like that. Cool. Exactly. All right. So, what kind of music are we hearing here? If you think about tycoon games, I don't think there's any music playing unless you're by a. Yeah, just jingles and stuff like that, almost like The Sims. Yeah, like if you're next to like a, a entertainment thing that has music coming out of it, you hear the music from that. Otherwise, you just hear the crowd and the people cheering and throwing up and flushing toilets and going, Ugh, this drink sucked. <laughs> yep, a lot of that. Um, so, yeah, maybe we could just have regular noises. And then maybe while you're uh, exploring the open world, that's where the music comes in. And it could be kind of like basic or or orchestric, orchestric, orchestral, orchestral uh, fantasy music are we gonna have things where you can like delete one of the walls to the t-rex cage and then it just goes and, eats? and just lets you wreck havoc i don't think so i think all the i feel like the, maybe the zoo is gonna be it, the tycoon aspect of it i think it's gonna be less build your roller coaster and shape it the way it is it's just gonna be like place things places like you're not building fences and like in zoo tycoon you have to mix habitats yeah uh, there's not going to be really that. It's like there okay. is a habitat and you place it down and you could upgrade it with like different things and stuff like that. And gotcha. then you can place multiple of them. So maybe if you want, you could put all the uh, T-Rexes or dragons in one area. And like, let's say if you merge some together, it just gets bigger on its own. So there aren't going to be any critical like problems that happen. For instance, if you mess up in a dragon den, you won't get eaten. You won't get like a game over screen, right? Like maybe it'll just get too dangerous and they tell you to pull out and that's just what happens. I think maybe what it would be like is you don't generate enough money because maybe if you don't bring in new specimens for your people to come by, is you start losing like business. A like a Tiger King, but for mythical creatures. I've never seen Tiger King, so I don't get that reference. Oh, you don't know? Yeah. Oh, wow. But, um... It's, it's pop culture. <laughs> I'm assuming it's like you have... Your your customers will get bored with your current selection unless you upgrade it yeah, with like a new edition. Yeah, you only pixies and yeah. stuff. And as the creatures get harder and harder to obtain, um, they'll give you more and more time. And it's not just that, but, like, upgrades as well. Like... And eventually, once you have enough creatures, they're not going to complain anymore. You could earn more money and get to the next level by getting a dragon. But right, you know, I feel or or like once you have that first big boss creature, I think from there, I think maybe there could be like a mechanic where after you capture something, you have this many days of popularity, like a frenzy mode or whatever, where people okay. would just come like when you catch your first big creature, like a. Uh, like a Gorgon or something or whatever, a uh, Minotaur what, or something. Um, what if you get, what if there's rival zoos that also get animals too and they can steal away like your frenzy? Like for instance, instead of the days happening where you just, the people get tired, they start going to another um, establishment. I think n no, that that's just unwanted stress. <laughs> I think it's just more like, you don't want to stress out the player. Just the frenzy happens, and then you get this much time, and then after that, 
you have like 30 days or whatever to get your new animal or whatever. And maybe what we could do in terms of your ideas, add like a speed run mode where things are a lot harder to accomplish and much harder to get. And it's more, not so much about money making, but just gathering animals. And it's like a multiplayer competitive mode that takes 30 minutes and you get, try to make your park as successful as you can in 30 minutes or whatever. But who knows? Pricing. That'd be. Sorry, what are you going to say? That'd be an interesting one. So where does it, how is it going to end here? So is there just going to be once you find all the monsters and all the different maps and expand out? So like after, or is there going to be maybe major bosses that can help you roll credits? Maybe the main story is the character wants to collect Maybe. All the monsters, but is after like the the big five and the big five di- biomes where it's like Megalodon, um, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeah, I was thinking something uh, like that where the Wyvern. main character wants to capture a specific animal, or I like your idea yeah. where he wants to capture or she wants to capture. I I guess you get to choose who, what you want to play as. Like it's not going to yeah, be. Pick, a, your, I, pick your magical zookeeper. I don't see any voice acting in this. I see a lot of hmm ah. <laughs> that type of shit you know what i mean yeah uh, yeah uh but they want to capture these animals for whatever reason they're a fresh recruit or uh out of the school of animal taming and they set their sights high and they want to capture the five legendary creatures um and have the best zoo possible or whatever and we'll have the Harvest Moon story where your grandpa recently passed away. And you remember fun oh, no, times grandpa. at his zoo. And uh, he left his zoo and everything he owns under your name. So now you have the zoo and this land full of animals for you to capture. Sounds good to me. All right. I'd Pro- say let's give this game $50. $50? Well, Sure. I also Just right there under. I see it like one of those Breath of Wild likes, you know, like more of a. I don't know how else to describe it besides Breath of the Wild, like watercolory, bright, yeah. sort of anime inspired, kind of world. Okay, so that's what that's the look that we're going for. Yeah, I thought very real, not not realistic, but with more graphics. Right. There's another game. Because you want to show off the creatures. That's a Breath of the Wild like called Yonder. And I kind of see it more like that, where it's a more cutesy Breath of the Wild like. Kind of like Ocean Horn, you know? Yeah. All right, Alex. It's time to start your timer because it's time to name this game. And it begins uh, now. Mythic cryptids. Wicked, wicked. Egg rancher. You you have to really make it about the eggs then. We barely talked about it. I mean, I mean, are you stealing the eggs? Or are you just stealing babies? You're doing both. Yeah. Just all of it. Just what you can. No, you're stealing eggs. Yeah. Yeah, but like, remember, there's a whole other part where you have to raise these and then manage right. a whole zoo surrounded by them. And I guess and that's gonna be a bosses. whole. This is gonna have like this is one of those games that has like stages where the first half, when you first capture an animal, is just egg incubation, and then it goes yeah, to so, infant, and then it goes to it's ready for showtime, and then that's when you could like open the new exhibit after they've gained into adulthood. That's what I'm saying. So to call it Egg Rancher would only represent like a, a right. third of the game. Maybe it's the mythical zoo. <laughs> the mythical zoo, huh? That's not even like a title. It's a description. That's true. <laughs> um... Zoo of Wonders. Wonder Zoo. Wonder Zoo. 
Wanderzoo. Wanderzoo. Zoo of dreams. Dream zoo. Dream of zoo. <laughs> Cross dino. Um. Dino Rancher. Mythic Rancher. How about maybe something that has to do with like Limoncello, a Dino Zoo story. Dream Zoo, Zoo of Dreams. What we'll do to retroactively make the name fit the game, there'll be an introduction when you pop in the game where it'll be a little child sleeping and then they dream. And this is where the game takes place, is in the dream. That's how we explain everything. I can't think of anything, dude. Zoo of Dreams in how about three how minutes. about Dream Zoo that's, or that's Zoo of Dreams? I, yep. I don't know which one's better. <laughs> you suggested Zoo of Dreams All first, right. and now Dream Zoo second. We can do Dream Zoo in four minutes. Do you want Dream, Dream Zoo? Zoo? I don't know. Let's do Zoo. Do of you Dreams. want the Zoo of Dreams? Yeah, let's do Zoo okay, of Dreams. Okay, Zod. Okay, Zod in four minutes. Zoo Dreams is a game where you play as a zookeeper who hunts, tracks down, collects eggs, and showcases mythical beasts from all stages of time and space. Display your creatures, make gifts out of them, serve food to the guests, and deliver experiences that are truly mythical in Zoo of Dreams. All right, so I think we have a game here, Alex. What do you think? Would this be a game you'd want to play? And is it fun? Yeah, you know, I never talked about the bios. I was thinking there'd be a snow one, a desert one, a lava one. Like I imagine it as uh, like a Monster I, Hunter game where it's like... Yeah, I was just joking because I know you got mad at me the last time I did that where I was like a lava one, a ice one. Um but no, no, this would, this would be a game I'd want to play. It'd be cool. I did play Zoo Tycoon, the latest one on Xbox One as part of Games Pass, and that was fun. I like these types of games. Uh, I would try it out. I would get mythical creatures. I also like the egg collecting mechanic because it reminds me of Monster Hunter Stories, which is a game I really like, and they're making, you know, that's always fun. So, yeah, let's go for it. How about you, Jay? Would this be a game that you would play? Yeah, I think do I like would. It? Did, I would like it. Um, I don't think I would get too far. I feel like I would get sick of it halfway through. Um, yeah. But yeah. It, it sounds enjoyable for 50 bucks. Why not? Now that we have a complete game, what game studio would you assign to make Zoo of Dreams the best? <sighs> what game studio? Um... What's the game studio that made Horizon Zero Dawn? Gorilla, I think. Gorilla Games, yeah. That's so random. How? Think about all the mythical creatures they made. Yeah, I, sure. Yeah, it is Gorilla. Um, all right, how about you? I guess Fire Axis would be a good one. The Civ guys. That would be a good one. You'd make some addicting gameplay. And as for me, I think my next one would be Rare. Mm. 
Mm. It would just take a little bit more of a cutesy look to it. How about right. you? Um, At that point, all the characters, instead of making the voice acting that you did, they would instead sound like what, Jay? What does a rare game sound like? What, what would that be? There you go. You nailed that one. I didn't do it. See, that's why I asked Jay to do it. Um, I don't know. I'll throw out an old school one. Let's give this a good old Sid Meier. All right. But, uh, Sid Meier, huh? yeah, I guess I, I think Fire Axis would do really good with it. Or, um, <laughs> who's the Sims team from EA? Don't know. I've actually never played a Sims game. Really? Yeah. Huh. Huh. Some of them are pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Maxis is uh, who they are. Or the Sims Studio. There's a lot of different people. There's a lot of people who are involved with Sims. And with that, 103rd, no, 133rd IP has gone gold. We hope you look forward to this experience that will probably never release. You can write to atpoundgames at gmail.com if you have anything to patch into the game we created today. Also, give us feedback. We are still learning how to make the show better, and your feedback really helps. We have a Patreon. If you'd like to back our ideas, please head over to patreon.com slash we are not game devs. Patrons receive episodes two days early and an extra podcast at the beginning, which caught the tail end of our conversation at the beginning of this episode. That's patreon.com slash we are not game devs. If you like the show, why not subscribe and give us all the stars on Apple Podcasts, Google Play Store, Spotify, YouTube, and more. And if they ask for a review, instead of reviewing our show, become your inner game critic and review Zoo of Dreams, the video game we just created. Thank you for joining us today. We'll be back next Friday with another new IP. Again, my name's J.E. And I'm A.G. Thank you. And please remember that we are not game devs. We're doing Halloween DLC, right? And having all spooky characters come in and... Actually, I wanted to do Godzilla DLC. Like a Kaishu DLC? Like just gigantic monsters? Woo! Yeah! That'd be pretty cool. And I don't know what the... (laughs) <laughs> Maybe it would be like a Shadow of Colossus type of thing. Where you have to yeah, like I was just thinking about Godzilla walking around like your whole land just 